New Comiskey, home to history on a Thursday night in May. Mike Cameron and his teammates wrapping up a series and what's it going to be? How about a home run? Brett Boone is fifth of the year. Two run shot, two nothing Mariners. Not that big a deal. They score a bunch of runs. They won 116 games a year ago. And Mike Cameron says, how about back to back? Let me in on this. His sixth of the year. He'd been having vision problems. That wasn't him. That was the camera there. Kenny Lofton's made some great catches in his career. Not that one. But all of a sudden, Mike Cameron seeing the ball. Later in the first. Get off me ball! Boone's second at bat. His sixth of the year. It's now nine to nothing Mariners. Next batter, 12th of the inning. Cameron will not be left out again. Straight away center field. His second of the inning. Back-to-back -back homers. Back-to-back -back times. It's the first time that's ever happened in history. Boone and Cameron, history not done just quite yet. The Mariners, the second team this week to hang a 10 spot. Bottom second, Paul Canerco. There's some D in this one, if you can believe it. Carlos Guillen, he can't possibly make the throw. Oh, yeah. Yes, he can. An amazing play. The defense not done. How about Mike Cameron, his next at bat? I am William Wallace. His eighth of the year, it's 11-0 Mariners. Mike Cameron giveth with the bat, and he taketh away with the glove. Bottom three, two out. Sacks full for Maglio Ordonez, and Max puts a charge into one. A grand slam, you can put it on the board. Yes, no. Mike Cameron had a different idea in his mind. Top five, looking for his fourth at home run and as many at bats. Talk to me, Dave Niehaus. And that pitch is hit to deep center field. Back goes Lofton to the track. That's where the newsroom nearly blew up. Top seven, his fifth at bat. Could he hit number five in as many at bats? Mike Corzio does not want to have his name attached to history, so he plunks him in the leg. Denied number five this time, but then in the top of the ninth, Mariners batting around again, his sixth at bat. He's got a shot. Will Jeff Leifer giving something to swing at? Yes, he does, and swing Cameron does. Get up, ball. Oh, it doesn't do it. Jeff Leifer makes a great grab. Cameron knew he was close. He needed some levitation, Holmes. It was not coming. No Wonder Boy there, but he swung like Wonder Boy. The fans in Comiskey certainly appreciating the effort. In Mike Cameron's last 10 games, he was batting 125, 13 Ks and one ribby. He had 31 Ks and 22 hits before this game. Brett Boone was batting 056 in his last five games. It's a goofy game. You know what? There's other stats. There's other trends. Frankly, you don't care. You want to hear from Mike Cameron. And here he is feeling kind of like another star in Chicago. Remember MJ in the NBA Finals? Cameron does. It was one of those days. I guess it could, if I could compare it to anything, it was like MJ when he hit the six threes against Portland. And he get, shrugged his shoulder. That's what I told the guys on the bench. I don't know, you know. I'm just putting a good swing on the ball. And it was a, you know, a great opportunity to, for us to just get some base hits and get our team on the roll again. And, uh, you know, it, it worked out very well for us. And being a part of history is only, you know, it's a, it's a very sweet thing to be a part of because this is a very, very sweet history of the game of baseball. That it is. More on history a little bit later from Chicago. And as you saw, Cameron had a couple of shots, becoming the only man in history of the game to hit five home runs, nearly delivered as the baseball team's top four. One on, two out. Clemens strikes out Terrence Long, ends the inning. 0-2 pitch to Jeremy Jumby. He's swinging. Top six, one on, one out. Clemens to Jermaine Dye. Clemens, 9 Ks. He's 3-0 this year in the stadium. Bottom six, one on, one out. Tied it to Jason Jumby against his former team. You can take your time. Boo this. Yankees go up 4-2. They go on to win it 9-2. A milestone night for the milestone franchise. Roger Clemens wins for the 284th time and ties Fergie Jenkins on the all-time wins list in 25th place. Joe Torre gets his 600th victory as Yanks skipper. He's the fifth man to do that. Oakland leads the bigs in home runs. They were held without one for the first time in 18 games. Different team, different borough, bottom four. Mets looking to win seven in a row. D-backs up 3-1. Greg Council, cue shot down the line, and we're going to have some chaos. The ball lady, she's helpful. Here you go. Who wants a souvenir? Here you go, little fella. Here's the problem. Ball was in play. Oh, uh, whoopsie. Oh, goodness, Bob Brenly, uh, you, that, yeah, oh, she's, she's forlorn. It's okay. You're giving effort. We can't fault you. Greg. 
Colburn this time drives it up the middle. No problem. John Valentin can't grab it. Danny Bautista comes in. D-backs win it 7-3. They avoid the sweep. Sean Estes now 2-6 lifetime against Arizona, and he continues to be a hard guy to figure out after a one-hitter. Gives up eight hits and five earned runs in five innings. Spivey's fifth inning and triple. Part of a 2-3 for three night and ended an 0-17 skid for him. Innings, John Thompson Coming extends to the streak to 19 in the first, striking out Brian Giles. In the second, Adrian Brown pops out to Todd Zeal. And Rockies pitchers have thrown 20 consecutive scoreless innings, make it 21 after Abraham Nunez grounds out to first. Thompson now facing Armando Rios, and he flies out to Juan Pierre in center. 22 consecutive scoreless innings. Thompson had not allowed a hit. Jack Wilson in the fifth, back to Thompson, 23 consecutive scoreless innings, still a no-hitter, top six. Rob McCoyak, harmless little grounder to first, 24 consecutive scoreless innings. Thompson said he was definitely aware that there were no hits, because when he looked up at the scoreboard, he saw there were no hits. Now there are. Rios bloops it in the left, single, the no-hitter broken up, the longest no-hit bid in Rockies history. And then Jason Kendall brings in Craig Wilson. That ends the consecutive innings streak of shutout baseball, but still, Rockies win 7-2. The undefeated Clint Hurdle said, quote, wow, I've never seen anything like these six games at Coors Field. He was clearly referring to the pitching, something that is rarely mentioned, Linda, at Coors, at least not without the accompanying four-letter words. <laughs> Pittsburgh has now dropped 7-9. of nine, And Sammy, he can go ahead and walk his dogs and represent Ronnie Woo Woo to the fullest. That's his 11th Cubs lead three love. They still have that same advantage. Bottom four. Kerry Wood looking much better in this start. He gets Sean Burrows with a couple of runners on to fly to Corey Patterson. Corey with the glove and the gun. And Ryan Klesko, you're out. Can you say woo-woo again? I will again. Just right. a minute. Six innings, three hits, one earned run, three strikeouts. And once again, Sammy Sosa. It's for Ronnie woo-woo. He's out in Chicago. He wears a Cubs uniform, walks around the bleachers and screams Cubs, woo, whatever. Sosa second of the game, fourth in two games. He's got 12. And then Moises Alou, can I get a hand clap? Oh, let Linda, me do that. Linda, can I get a hand clap? Thank late, you. That's his second homer as a Cub. The Cubs up 6 nothing, and they end a five-game losing streak. Kerry Wood, as I mentioned, back on track after giving up eight earned runs in his last two starts, losing both. Sammy Sosa's home run ties him with Jose Canseco for 22nd all-time. He has 18 at Qualcomm. That's the most of any road stadium. Brett Thompson. Eight years ago, that was the last time the Cincinnati Reds began the month of May in first place. In fact, the Reds are an eye-popping 14-6 and six since Ken Griffey Jr. went on the DL. How have they done it? Said Cincinnati right-hander Joey Hamilton, the guys scrap. They never give in. It's a totally different attitude from last year when I got here. Then again, Hamilton said we were 30 games out of the time and ready to go home. Since he loves the road in L.A. Thursday. Happy time in Dodger Town. Tied for first with Arizona coming in. Paul LaDuca is happy. Ripping the single up the middle past Elmer De Sins. Dave Roberts comes in to score. one nothing. L.A. But we're tied at one. Bottom four. LaDuca leading off. Boy, loves hitting against Descends, doesn't he? A solo home run, his second of the year. 2-1 Dodgers now. Top five, same score. Runner on second, one out, Jason LaRue. Basketball. Off of Odalis Perez. Ruben Mateo trying to score on that from second. Marquise Grissom, the throw home. LaDuca makes the tag. He's out. Let's move on now. We're heading to the bottom of the 14th side of two. Two on one out. Adrian Beltre. It's a flare. Ruben Mateo diving. Can't get it. He gambled and rolled past him. Sean Green scores the winning run in the bottom of the 14th. The Dodgers find a way to beat the Road Warriors, the Cincinnati Reds, by the score of 3-2. to two. Twelve hits did the Dodgers pound out. Dodger bullpen starred six innings, zero hits allowed, one walk. Luis Pineda gets the loss. He actually had to leave the game in the bottom of the 14th with a sickness, so they brought in Scott Sullivan, and thus the winning run coming off of him. Angels, ninth inning. Angels already up 5 0. Two on, nobody out. Tim Salmon looking for personal history. Opposite way. Career home run number 250. That one off of Charles Nagy. A three run blast. Six shutout innings for Kevin Apier in this one. Salmon hits the home run. Justin. Angels with their first three-game sweep in Cleveland since 1984. Anaheim's seventh straight win overall. Brace yourself, Cleveland fans. The Tribe has been outscored 114 to 39 in losing 14 of their last 16 games. Rangers, Blue Jays. Rangers up 2-0 in the fifth. Frank Catalanato. That's going to be a double. Hank Blaylock will score on that. Raul Mondesi come up throwing, but his throw, uh, that was supposed to be the second base. That allowed Calvin Murray to score from first. Rangers would score four in the fifth. Three Blue Jay errors. Buck Martinez. What about Buck Martinez? Tis the season to fire managers. Could Buck be the next to go? 
You can make it a season-high five straight wins, though, for Texas. The Blue Jays committing a season-high three errors. They've lost eight in a row for the first time since June of 1995. We'll stay in the National League. Expo's going for the sweep. Craig Biggio says, you know, we haven't found our identity yet. This might help. Lead-off home run. That's off Carl Pavano, who pitched well. 30th career lead-off home run for Craig Biggio in his outstanding career. And look at this. Bases loaded for Biggio. Puts that down there. One run will score. Two run will score. Three RBIs for Biggio. And the Astros break back and get this one. Eight to two. Tim Redding. Went six, gave up one run, first win of the year as the Astros avoid the three games. Maryland's Cardinals. Top second, five love Cardinals. Runner on first, Charles Johnson, grounder. Josh Pierce up the middle, and Edgar Renteria flips to Miguel Cairo. That's a beautiful little double play. And then Cliff Floyd. Look out. Oh, he's got that lumberjack style, baby, extra wood. Rock Cam making two appearances in the show. That's a two run shot. Floyd's 11th of the season. Now, this is interesting. Marlins pitcher, Hansel Izquierdo which means left in Spanish. He throws right. So clearly, Esquerdo is in trouble. Base is loaded, two outs. He ought to be throwing left. He's throwing righty. Maybe it means tight spot. I don't know. Whatever it means, Alex Gonzalez makes a beautiful diving stop, throws to first, and ends the inning. And now, the Redbirds, they were ahead in this one 6-0 at one point. Well, Ramon Castro at the plate. It's 6-5. to five. Cliff Floyd called this the best at-bat of the season on our team. He crushes Dave Beer's 3-2 pitch to left. A two-run shot, and the Cardinals all of a sudden are behind. They end up losing this one 9-6, to six, and Cliff Floyd, he's blue flame. He's hot. His last 12 games, eight taters and 18 RBI. He's hitting 372 on the road and says he hates hitting at home at Pro Player. Milwaukee, a place Henry Blanco used to call home. Just ask Mike DeJean. Henry Blanco in a tie game in the 10th changes the score. Lifting Atlanta to a 3-2 win, said Blanco. They're still my friends, but I've got to do my job, too. Said brave skipper Bobby Cox about Blanco's game-winning homer. It couldn't happen to a better kid. Gary Sheffield took the collar. Devil Rays and Twins in the bottom of the 10th. Steve Kent is on. Corey Kosky puts this deep. Jason Tyner going back, and this is a crushing loss for the Devil Rays. 7-6. It's a seven-game losing streak. Paul Wilson pitched very well. He left with a 6-4 lead. It was a 6-4 lead going into the ninth inning. Esteban Yan. Former Oriole first baseman Tony Muser, his job when they swept KC last week in KC. Now they're in Baltimore, and it's more of the same. Jeff Conine takes Paul Bird deep and out of center field against the beautiful Baltimore skyline. The Orioles win it 6-2. to two. The Orioles, two, three, and four hitters all had two hits apiece. Three of their eight hits were solo homers. Baltimore beats Paul Bird twice in a week. Those are his only two losses. Sidney Ponson's only two wins have come in the last week over KC. The O's.